For many couples, the shared aspiration of becoming parents is a pivotal element of their relationship. With this in mind, when they finally embrace parenthood, their lives usually undergo a positive transformation. However, this wasn't the case for one couple who adopted a newborn. Instead, as the years passed, they began to question whether their daughter had truly integrated well into their family, despite her having reached adulthood. Initially, Beth and Jim adopted their daughter, Manny, shortly after her birth. Nevertheless, she displayed various concerning issues, and it wasn't until the age of nine that the family received a diagnosis for some of her struggles. She was diagnosed with ADHD and bipolar disorder. When questioned about the initial reasons for bringing her to the doctor, Mady, now 18, shared with TB's Dr. Phil McGraw, I believe it was mostly because of my hyperactivity. I was very energetic and had significant mood swings when I was younger, going from extreme happiness to sadness. However, the official diagnosis didn't provide relief for her family. Instead, she explained, things went downhill from there. Consequently, her parents sought help from psychiatrists, psychologists, and other medical professionals, Mady estimated having seen around 20 to 25 doctors. According to Mady, her parents had even involved the police. She noted that she had been taken into custody for mental health assessments as directed by Beth and Jim. At one point, she asserted she was even confined to a psychiatric hospital and kept in a padded room. They treated me as if I were disabled, she expressed. I ended up trying various medications, but it only made things worse. Mady believed that her parents were trying to find something wrong with her so they could avoid facing their own shortcomings. Despite maintaining a composed demeanor on the Dr. Phil show, Mady acknowledged that her parents' treatment over the years had deeply wounded her. She shared glimpses of her ongoing internal dialogue with a psychologist, much of which was profoundly emotional. Among the thoughts she shared were feelings of being damaged goods and disposable, along with the belief that her parents would treat her better if she were their biological child. Moreover, Mady saw herself as the black sheep of the family and believed her parents considered her younger sister to be flawless. Arguably, the most distressing sentiment was Mady's belief that her parents regretted adopting her into their family. She revealed, My mom admitted she wishes she had thought more about this adoption. When I heard that, I felt abandoned and unloved. However, Beth and Jim, Mady's parents, presented a different side of the narrative. They contended that their 18-year-old daughter had a habit of lying to them, even about trivial matters like a missing bag of frozen strawberries. We discover the entire thawed bag in her room, Beth noted. Furthermore, her father shared an even more distressing incident. Last month, Mady deceived us, claiming she needed tools for a new job. Beth and I decided to buy the tools, Jim recounted. The tools amounted to a cost of $9,000, yet their investment was short-lived. A few days later, we found out that Mady had returned all the tools for cash, Jim added. Moreover, Mady's parents asserted that she had faced accusations of theft from her school's locker room, exhibited verbal aggression, threatened to harm her mother's arm, and experienced frequent uncontrollable emotional outbursts. Due to these reasons and others, Mady alleged that her parents had evicted her from the family home, a claim Beth and Jim refuted. You told me to get out of this house after we had a fight, Mady stated. Yeah, no, her mother retorted in disagreement. However, Mady's parents did admit to calling the police to initiate a mental health evaluation for their daughter. Beth explained she was becoming more physical in her actions. She was associating with questionable people and we didn't know where she was going or what she was involved in. As the family struggled to find resolution on their own, Dr. Phil intervened to provide counseling. Initially, the psychologist shared his observations, stating that Mady did not appear to suffer from any significant underlying issues, implying that she did not exhibit major diagnosable mental health conditions. However, Dr. Phil didn't absolve the 18-year-old of her behavior. You do have behaviors that need improvement, he candidly informed Mady. Oh yes, she responded, nodding in agreement, clearly committed to self-improvement. He then turned to her parents to offer guidance. I do believe that Mady has been questioning her identity and place in the family, Dr. Phil explained, and both of you have a significant role in addressing that. Loving someone doesn't mean you have to approve of everything they do. 
He emphasized, eliciting applause from the audience for his final remarks. He continued, that's something she needs to grasp. You might not endorse her actions on a random Tuesday afternoon, but she needs to understand that, irrespective of that, you love her unconditionally. Concluding his intervention, he proposed a practical plan for the family to mend their relationship, attending workshops at a treatment center in Tennessee. This approach would allow them to work on their relationship through counseling rather than medical interventions. Ultimately, Beth, Jim, and Mady agreed to participate in this plan.